A fistula is defined as a non-natural, non-pre-existing tube or tube net-like connection between an organ or an inflammation focus and the body interior and or the body surface. A fistula is a product of the body. Let's explore how it develops. When you experience inflammation in a certain location for a long period of time, resulting in the production of pus, a pus corridor may develop. Pus flows from the inflammation area in between the associated tissue until the pus corridor arrives at the body surface, or sometimes the body interior. When this happens, you will frequently feel a little bump on the gums. When the bump breaks open, pus empties out into the oral cavity, and the bump disappears. Unfortunately, it quickly fills up again soon after breaking open. This process repeats itself again and again, occasionally resulting in scarring in the existing pus corridor. The walls around the pus corridor get coated with special cells, and the body begins to isolate the pus corridor, resulting in a fistula. Here, you see a fistula on the gum. The patient tripped years ago and injured his front tooth. The tooth nerve died without the patient realizing it, a fairly common occurrence. And the damaged tooth nerve tissue caused an inflammatory reaction in the bone. Pus made its way to the gum surface, which led to the formation of a small bump on the gums. This bump eventually broke open, allowing pus to flow out. Over the course of time, the situation became more organized, as a fistula course was formed from the bone infection through the mucosa. The patient still does not experience any acute discomfort, but the infection literally eats up the bone, causing the bone defect to grow larger. In the x-ray, you can see the tooth in green and the bone defect framed in red. The inflammation focus empties out via the fistula corridor, framed in white here, into the oral cavity, so to speak. Possible treatment options here include either a root treatment or, if the focus has already gotten too large, root treatments with subsequent root tip resection. The fistula corridor is usually also removed during the operation. If not, it normally heals by itself after the cause is removed.